Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so, so, so excited today to share with you five tips on how you can start to love yourself more. So let's get started. Tip number one, if you see me looking down, that's just me, you know, following through with my notes. Okay. So tip number one is to do something nice for yourself. Ladies, if you are the type of lady that don't go to the nail shop and um, you have not done your nails or your toes in a very long time, it's time to do something about that, okay? So go out there, get some cute nail polish, or if you already have some at home, let's get started. Get yourself, do a cute little, little um, self-care moment for yourself in the sense of get some warm water, you know, put your fingers in it, you know, fix your cuticles a bit, give yourself a little hand massage, you know, put some lotion on there, give yourself a little hand massage and stuff and put some nail polish on. You see, it's going to lift your spirit, guys. Another thing, there is something that is so, so, so sexy about red toenails. I don't know if you feel the same way, but I do. There's something sexy about painting my toenails red. So I am, I am sharing that with you and I'm inviting you to try some red nail polish on your toes and see what this, what that do for you, for you know, your self-love elevation and see if that's going to make you feel a little bit more sexy. Okay. Leave me a note down below if you try this and you find it to be helpful. Okay. The next thing is while we are on that, that stage there of um, doing your, your nails and stuff, give yourself a bubble bath. Are you a person that likes candles? Are you a person that likes scents and good smell and stuff? Give yourself a bubble bath via candlelight. If you like a glass of wine, you can do that as well. Um, sometimes I go into the bath with my candles, with my glass of wine, but also I go in with my journal or a good book. If I need to, 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 you know, do a little bit of mindset, sometimes I even, you know, do that while I'm in the bath. It's kind of like a little meditation moment for me, but that moment when you're in there, there's something about being in the water guys. And I think it has to do with the sense as well. Lavender is good. Vanilla is good. You know, if you're a person that likes floral scent, well, the rose scent will, you know, it's good. Um, chamomile scent is very, very, very relaxing. So a lot uh, do something like that mint. If you have a headache and you go into the bubble bath with a mint scent, guarantee you it is going to go bye-bye that headache. But guys, just being in that moment of relaxation, the candlelight that changes the ambience of things. You know, um, if, if it's not a glass of tea or a glass of wine or a glass of coffee, have a glass of water, you know, you'll see. It gives you a sense of feeling of calm, of importance, of just feeling, oh, oh, I am so loved right now. Try it. You'll see it works every time. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is when you wake up in the morning, one of the first thing that you should try to do is make up your bed. For me, I tank my bed for a good night's sleep, my pillows and stuff, and my blankets for keeping me warm. I learned that little trick from a book, um, You Can Heal Your Life by Il it, uh, Louise Hay. If you are familiar with her, that's a good book. Um, but however, when I wake, wake up in the morning and I make up my bed, it gives me a feeling of a sense of accomplishment that I accomplished the first thing for the day. And not only that, when I look back and I see my bed is in order, I feel calm. And I, for some reason, guys, I feel like, wow, everything I can begin this day now because my room is organized and I can go on to something different. So that there is tip number three. 
it works. And if you're a person that's suffering from any form of depression or anything like that, you'll see that helps as well too. So that was tip number three. Tip number four, <laughs> tip number four is organization. Yes. If your closet needs organizing, guys, don't put it off any longer. Get organizing. Do your shoes, do your handbags, um, the, the way that you hang up your stuff in the closet. If you're a person out there and you like to manifest stuff and you're asking for a new closet or you're asking for some new clothes or something like that, that helps with your manifestation. Um, you're not going to get what you're asking for if you have old broken plastic hangers in there or some wire hangers there that is, you know, is falling all over your clothes and in, in the back of the thing is falling down. What whatever. Guys, no, that is not good at all. Okay. For your mindset, for your health, for your well-being, it is not good. So please take some time out. Maybe, you know, like an hour of sometime on the weekend. Sorry guys, there was something in my mouth. <laughs> Maybe an hour on the weekend or an hour, in, you know, after dinner in the evening and give your closet a good, nice clean out and organize it and see what happens. If it's not your closet, guys, pick a drawer, pick a drawer in your dresser, organize it and see what happens. Oftentimes when I do this little trick, guess what happens? Guess what happens? I find something that I've all been looking for for a while. And it makes me so excited. A lot of the times, guys, when I organize something, I find money. I, I find money. Don't ask me how. But a lot of the times when I take the time off to organize my purses or to organize my coats or to organize my closet, I find a little extra change in there. Okay? It works. So the next thing, which is tip number five, tip number five is if it's been a while since you took yourself out, there is nothing wrong with doing something by yourself. You can go to the movies, you can go to the coffee shop, you can go for a walk, you can do some yoga poses. Do something, guys, that when you're in that little space, in that little moment by yourself, you're not walking to anyone's rhythm. It gives yourself, you, you have time to think. Sometimes some ideas come that you have not thought of before or something that you have been trying to sort out. Use that little time to sort things out. You can use that little time. Even sometime when I go to the restaurant or the coffee shop, I bring my journal with me and I use that time to write down my dreams, my goals, and my wishes. Okay. And also I don't have to rush. I don't have to run. I don't have to, you know, because I, I literally made that arrangement and I slot in that time for myself to give myself a nice little treat okay, of alone time and a, a, a nice beverage, okay? Um, so do not let the fact that you're doing this alone keep you away from spending time with yourself, guys. I think that is the biggest, biggest thing in my mind. And it, it's, it's, what, it's how I, I became into loving myself so much more, enjoying time with me. And just enjoying time with myself, oh my God, I learned so much about me and what makes me happy, okay? So guys, those are my five tips and I hope, hope, hope to see you again soon in my next video. If you like what you're hearing so far, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will talk to you soon. This is Kylie Chinapu and we'll chat in my next video. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely day, guys.